I'm gonna show you guys another bus conversion that we've been working on with Blue Ridge conversions. And it's gonna be for two people. Very minimal, try not to go crazy with expensive materials, trying to keep it simple. But it's gonna have a pretty nice sized kitchen, fridge, stove, a pull out table. This is a pull out couch here. And we got the hallway. This bathroom is gonna be a little bit bigger than most of our conversions. Compost toilet, shower, tiny sink. And this is the master bedroom, pallet wall. And then this is gonna be like a garage storage type area. And again, nothing too fancy, but we still have a lot to do on this bus. I've been working on some trim work, doing a lot of finishing, trimming, and getting everything ready for paint. Like this ceiling hatch, trim that out. And I have to finish up trimming this one. converting a school bus into a tiny home it's a lot of work a lot of measuring a lot of cutting it's like a big giant school bus that you're putting all the pieces together to make it a home I'm just putting up a wooden panel here. Nothing straight on a bus. You pretty much have to throw out your ruler and your straight edge and try to fit it in the best you can. other bus conversion that we're doing right after we finish that one we're doing this one just been working on the subfloor tearing we've been tearing up the floor out tear out the seats insulating the floor putting down plywood but this is the next project after that one we're doing not to mention this one <laughs> Trim work can be really tedious, really intricate. I like trying to figure out how the trim is gonna work, how it's gonna piece together. trim work today just to get it, everything ready for painting. I'm 
sitting on the compost toilet right now. <laughs> this is the uh, bus confession booth. <laughs> but these bus conversions, none of them are this, exactly the same. None of them. You would think bus school buses would be cookie cutter exactly the same, but they're not. When we actually put walls in and convert them into a tiny home, every single one of the bus conversions that I've done have been all completely different. Different ceiling, the way the layout is. Uh, we usually work with the customer on what they want. Usually they'll send us a layout and they'll be like, can you guys do this layout or what do you think of this? And then we'll say, yeah, we could do it. Or maybe if we change this here to there, you know, it might work out better. If they had their heart set on a certain layout or a certain look, we try to work with that and make it happen. You know, I'm used to working in the office where everything's the same. I knew exactly what I was gonna do that day, every single day. And then now doing this, always something new, always something happening. So I, I'm still trying to get used to that. The first time I heard somebody leaving in a school bus was actually Jeff and Stacy. And now I'm doing bus conversions with them. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. We still have a lot to do with this bus conversion. And I hope to show you more of this process as we continue to finish it. But I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time.